three. When are you going to start? Now. Okay. Welcome to the T-Bolt USA Pit Bike Update. I'm Vince. I'm Vince. And let's get started. So today uh, we have a race report. We've got a couple new products that we're going to uh, talk about and we're going to take a look at. And there's an exciting giveaway that we need to uh, bring up and tell the world about. So let's get started with the uh, race report. So what uh, what's happening in the world? When are the next races? Where are we going? Um, we <clears throat> good question. The um, next Saturday. OK, so Saturday, June 8th. Uh, another pit bike race after after practice um, in with the kids event in the evening at Raceway Park. Uh, that's very very similar. Another round of the race that we did the very last round. That's the one we talked about in the last episode. It is. It's one we talked about. It's one of the ones we talked about in the last episode. Um, uh, Donzi D'Ambrosa was there. Um, taking videos, uh, you know, and having fun. A lot of our other friends were there, and it was a great time. So another round. Um, and when are we going back to Raceway? This weekend. Okay. I guess we'll be June 8th, June Saturday, 8th. June 8th. Um, I don't know if we're going to get to that one. We're going to try. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff going on. Not going to commit to that one. I will tell everybody that you must have an AMA card to race that race yeah so that was show up You're that was surprising an ama uh we usually don't do ama with pit bike on most of the other rounds and places we go it makes sense AMA because it makes sense because <clears throat> raceway park is a full-fledged uh ama track and it's on the main track um and also they're they use the uh the system where you can uh see your results online and take a look at how you did um, so it makes sense that you have to have an AMA number for them to put you into the system. So I think yep. that that kind of is why they had to do it that way. Yeah, they use track side. But, so right, but most results. but most pit bike races don't require AMA. This is one that just happens to. Yep. So after that, um, so the next day uh, we definitely won't be up in Massachusetts, but um, Sunday, June 9th, Masters of Minis. Um, at Southwick, so um, so that's a little far for us. Um, after that, an event that we definitely will be attending Saturday, June fifteenth, and that will be at New Jersey Field of Dreams. Right, and my uh, my fiance and uh, her uh, her sister and her sister's husband will uh, will be coming with us too. Yeah, the Texas crew is coming in to ride pit bikes with us. Um, I know some of the guys from the shop are going to be there. Um, some of the customers told me they're already going to be there. Definitely a cool place. At really, Florida. really awesome track, especially if you haven't broken your collarbone on there. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, uh, I broke my collarbone on that track a while ago on my YZ125, but, uh, but I'm all Yeah, that was on the national track. What they have is they have the national track is mostly big bikes and then they have a vet track which is you know anybody can ride that and then then they have a mini track which is mostly for kids on minis but that's that's also a nice hard pack track where you can run pit bikes which will be able to run in the rotation during the day have a pit bike if you have a pit bike you can come all day you can do practice and after practice we'll have some pit bike races um, mostly just for fun, just so throw down some motos um, that's involved with uh, AMA District 6 because there was an AMA District 6 race the next day. You know about that, right? So yeah, AMA, yeah well, it's Henrietta, just, right? Yeah, Henrietta, Henrietta Classic, classic um, series. So right. a lot of our friends from Pagoda that race all the District 6 will be there that day practicing and then also the next day racing. Hopefully we can get a lot of pit bike guys to come out because it should be it should be cool. Last year we had a monsoon down there and like two inches of rain in a minute. Well, it sucked and we because we got rained out of our pit bike race. Well, but this year I'm knocking on wood and hoping for a good race. Right. Well, Dad and I got down there and that was just when it was really starting to pour. And the the minute we got down, um, we were practicing. We were planning on practicing during the day yeah. before the race in the evening and 
it, it just started thunder and lightning and uh it wasn't in the cards. We didn't. We didn't yeah, even get the bikes out. They closed the practice track. That uh, day. And we had uh, Colin. Colin drove down too. Yeah. In, in his car with uh, with Dan. Yeah, yeah. Colin and Dan and me and Vince yeah. were down there. Tony. But that's life. And Tyler. So a bunch of us pit bike guys yeah. were there. That's motocross. <clears throat> it gets rained out sometimes. Yeah, I mean, that's just part of it. Um, so that's Saturday, June fifteenth. If you guys can get out, uh, that'd be great. Also, we're going to bring. This thumb star Ooh. that we just put together out of the box. Still got the uh, the covering. Yeah, on the it. coverings on it. So probably haven't started it up yet, but it'll be started. It'll be test run, and then um, we're gonna bring that. We're gonna give that to Jerry, who's the vice president of District Six, and he will be running a giveaway for this bike at District Six. So probably you can get. You know, the raffle tickets during, like, all District 6 events. We'll have it with them for the rest of the series. And then at the end of the season, we'll give it away. Got to get a T-Bolt yeah, bar pad on yeah, there. Yeah, we definitely got it. And Johnny... Um, John Castaldi? No. no. John Gianni? John Gianni and... Uh, I can't remember the... Darn. We're getting all new graphics. I'll tell you who's putting on the graphics during the next video, because I can't remember who's doing it. But and another AMA uh, sponsor is going to do new graphics. MGX? Yeah, probably MGX. MGX, MGX Unlimited. Yeah, it's going to do graphics. And we'll put a T-Bolt. Um, so yeah, they're, know, it'll they're get good, done up. Yeah, they're good guys. I, I've had to hit them up for logos when redoing the Pagoda website. And uh, they're really on top of it. So yeah. awesome. That was a good segue. I didn't realize that this was the giveaway button yeah. Yeah, right it behind is. us. It is. We have it on the list it to is. talk about it. It had to but... get done this week. Yeah. Uh, that was one of the jobs we had to do to get it ready. Um, you know, it just so it's ready for next weekend. Um, so there's no rush. And it'll be test run and ready to give away to a, a customer. When, awesome. You know, the winner. So next up, uh, we're going to switch it up a little bit. And we're going to uh, take a look at some new products that are coming out couple that we have just listed on the website, although they're not here uh, physically to show you, and uh, a couple that we have here that we'll, uh, we'll be breaking out. So let's get to that. Okay. So we have some new products and some products that are coming back into stock. Um, the one very interesting product is the Pitster Pro 190. If let's you can go to Pitster Pro. Let's take a look. So we're on our main site. Go to Pit Bikes. I'm gonna go to Pit Bikes. Pitster Pro. This one right here. Yep. Right here. Front and center. The now, FSE. So the new bike is called the Pitster Pro FSE 190. Um, it is the successor to the legendary LXR. The which, LXR has been around since 2009. 2009. Yeah, Matt. Matt invented it along with Gary, um, the very first linkage pit bike, I guess. This one does have the linkage suspension, um, has the fast ace inverted fork, it has a 190cc five speed engine with electric start. What uh, which is, do we know? It's a Daytona engine. It's a Daytona engine. It's a four valve Daytona awesome. 190, so pretty much the absolute baddest. That and, engine on the market right, right right now. So is it very similar to the engine in the Piranha 190? It is very similar. To same exact top end. It's just a new generation with an electric starter and a five-speed gearbox. Check out that frame. <clears throat> yeah. They're all going to have... It's got the, the KTM style plastics. No, I, I'm... Go ahead. I'm just excited about the painted frame there. Yeah. Yeah, people are liking the red frame. Um, it's a, you know, it's a 1214 bike, so, you know, a bit bike legal, um, and just killer. The one nineties are so fast. Um, Is that the head there? That black? Yeah. Yeah. It's black. That's the whole valve. It's got like a valve cover. So you, just one cover to, uh, to get into your valves. You know, you don't have to take individual covers off on the Daytonas. Comes with a key and PE 28. Is that a which reservoir is, for the nice. shock there? Yeah, it's got a resi shock. I think oil it is Oil cooler? They're dual oil coolers. Dual, oh. radiators. Huh. Yeah. 
They're actually radiators on yes. the bike. Yeah, we offer them on the website. They've been around for a little while, but now they're on the bike. Um, I think, now don't quote me, I have to look at the specs, but it might have a high and low speed shock, which I have that, and Vince has that on his LXR. It's neat seeing the GPX logo coming back. Yeah. Yeah, Gary re-embraced the GPX logo for his bigger bikes as well. Um, but we're mostly still offering just the pit bikes. Um, there's going to be a 1417 version for people who like the bigger wheels. <clears throat> and pretty nice. Ooh, check this out. Nice looking bike. Check out the uh, yeah the, the cutaway and the engraving. Yeah, and logos. The painted uh, brake lever. Yeah, stainless pegs. Wow. So a lot of nice stuff. Linkage or suspension. Should be a hit. Um, one other very interesting pitster that just came out, if you can go back to the... I'm excited because I honestly haven't gotten a chance to take a look at uh, at these engine, or these bikes at all yet. Yeah, hopefully we'll get one in here in a little bit. They just they just hit. They just got unloaded. So What else am I bringing up? Check here? out this, this 60. So they have a new bike called the FSE 60. It's, it's a kid's bike for little kids. It's not a pit bike. But, you know, it's interesting. It, you know, you might have a kid that... Is it a four-stroke? It's a four-stroke. It's not the same bolt pattern as our normal pit bike engines. I see. It's, it's the same one. That, it's been around in a couple different things. Is, um, is this to cover up a, um, an electric starter? It's an electric starter? start, and it's, only, and it's just a twist and go. There's no... There's no speed. There's, there's no, no shifting. There's no shifter. There's no shifter oh, at all. Obviously, there's no shifter. But it's a four-speed. I mean, it's a, uh, a four-stroke. So it's a nice little, nice little four-stroke offering. A lot, Check a out. lot of people who have kids are wary uh, of doing a seventy, which I think is insane because a, a fifty or seventy is so close. Yeah. But Check this out is the lines 60. here. Like, do you see how? Um, yeah, it's got like the KTM style. No, well, do you see how there's this this solid line that goes straight through from All the, the way front to the, to the back, back fender? Yeah. Like this is the kind of <clears> styling <throat> that you see on you know Japanese bikes. And you see on big bikes, yeah, it's and on, more modern, on more cars modern and stuff, you know. Yeah, I, I don't love this, uh, this swing arm, but I mean it's a kid's bike, but yeah. the swing arm just looks it's simple, you know, which some people might like. But it is. It looks a little too simple to me. But overall, I really but that like engine's the look been of it. around for a little while now. It's kind of proven. What uses, um, like what applications? Other has the other fifties where you can get away with it. Okay. Um, you know, people are. People have done it in a 70. It's, I don't love it because it's unique and then it's all different parts, but you know, I kind of, I kind of like the engines we've been using, but, um, it's a very interesting bike and it's, it's got a decent price point. Check out the, uh, the guard on the exhaust. Yeah. See, these are little, th and the, the disc brakes. See, these are little things that you want for your kid's bike, but a lot of times the kid's bikes are just really basic you know no, uh simple no, it's, bikes it's and got, this is it's got all the accessories inverted fork um nice big beefy pegs check out I that mean, this... that pipe the pipe yeah. doesn't look like something for a little kid is that a uh i would imagine you is can... that a fender brace it is it's it's there's you know it, it fender... look the fender brace yeah, so you can pick it up come and... all the way back yeah i don't know it's yeah some of this little often. stuff it's, it's awesome you know, I mean, it, I not, just I remember not, I remember the MX one ten. Right, I just I remember riding on the back of the uh, the uh, XR eighty when I was real little, and uh, and breaking your rear fender. Yeah, I mean, there's no there's no nothing holding up a CRF one hundred fender either. So you know that's very even though you know it's Chinese, it's very sturdy. Well, I mean, the CRF one ten is Chinese too. Yeah. Neat. Thank you for bringing those up. Yep. Oh, what do we got here? Yeah, it shows the sizing of it. Okay. Okay. So you've got Just overall so you length. You've got axle to axle. You got seat height, and you've mm -hmm. got ground clearance. Yeah, just saying. So it's really. It's really right a kid's because bike. you don't want to to look at this and think, oh man, that looks. I'm going to get that bike for myself, no. and then you find out that it's. Uh, 580 millimeters in inches. You're looking at a uh, 22 inch, 23, 23 inch seat height. Inch seat height. 
right? As opposed to like 29, which is what you're usually expecting on like a, <clears throat> on, you know, yeah, bikes like bikes. this one down here. Mm -hmm. So, awesome. All right, what else do we have? Do we have anything else on the, I uh, just on got the web a, to bring um, up? I got a message from, uh, from Teddy Tavernier at Kinetic MX, and he has, <clears throat> he's, he shipped us out some of the fender braces for the Kawasaki KLX 110. Awesome. So once they get here, they will be back available. They're on the website now. They're set to zero, so it still says check stock. Right, so that's why you can see this is just able to be bought now, and, and this one doesn't have allow, that button. It won't allow purchase until... Yeah, we, we don't do uh, pre-orders. We pre fi physically have it here, but it should be mid next week. He's not that far away. The uh, more exciting is the KLX 110 um, upsweep uh, peg bars. By Kinetic? By Kinetic as well. Let's see. So now... Okay, these ones here, right? Yeah, the third one. Oh, this the is the straight. straight. He, he didn't send any straight ones, but the upsweep is... I, I think he likes the upsweep... Um, it gives you a little more ground Ooh. clearance. Look at these nice shots. Yeah. Who took yeah, these? Rob took those. Rob is doing a good job. Yeah. So the cool thing with this is you can buy just the peg bar. Was that just with his cell phone? I don't know. He's doing a good job. Um, you can buy just the peg bar, which is ultra heavy duty, made in the United States. Or you can also purchase the um, the pegs and and spring kit, which this this setup is a larger pin setup. So the pin on this, which is the part that your your pegs the the pin pivot on your, right your, the pin, um, it's larger. So it's that of a YZ125 Yamaha. So what we're doing is so, we're using the DRC. So how does that affect the usage? It just makes it a sturdier deal. Okay. Is is the pin often a uh, a point of failure on it's not other? Really a, it's not really a point of failure. It's just stronger and thicker and less likely to wear. Okay. Um, and it just it just makes it for a much it's beefier. So you now you have not only do you have big bike pegs. But you have big bike pegs resting on a big bike pin, so you know you take you've taken that entire part out of the equation. We offer it as an add-on, additional charge. We can give you the DRC, uh, the Dirt Freak um, pegs, which are actually pretty economical. Really, it's for the fifty bucks you get the pins and springs, all brand new. So the combination is it's sturdy of course you could always buy your own yz125 pegs if you felt like it oh, okay so these are available the actual yz125 pegs are available we as have an as option a product. Yeah. or as an uh add-on to the product yeah and here's the picture of those yeah, you can come buy them awesome. later if you just buy the yeah. buy the peg bar or you those can... look sharp I mean, they are they're sturdy yeah, more than one way oh uh, they are actually made in japan oh, the wow. company's called dirt freak we should put that um, in the description. And then uh, the uh, the you know the short name is DRC. So we've been selling the DRC pegs in numerous configurations: CRF 110, KLX 110, and now these YZ 125s to go with the kinetic peg bar. The kinetic peg bar can be utilized with the cradle mount that we offer, the TRC one cradle mount which we ran out of for a few days but i have them made and they're coming in late next week so we sell that almost every single day it's definitely a beneficial product that helps you save your cases from getting broken on your klx 110 yeah oh the the cradle the cradle <laughs> yeah yeah the and um I have those coming in next week even though they're not allowed for they're not available for purchase right this minute but by the end of in the next week they'll be in um the sad thing with the cradle is we sell the kawasaki klx 110 cases every week as well so we sell more cradles so people are wising up dad has a thread here on planetminis.com um 
when is the best time to install a cradle mount on a 110? The best time is before you break your cases. Do it now. This thread, as you can see here, is from 2008. <laughs> it is. So it's uh, we've been happily working with uh, keeping people from uh, breaking their cases for uh, yeah for that many years. Yeah, it's it's a top selling product. It's definitely beneficial. Um, so as far as new products, did you want to get into something new or recently new? For sure. Rather than a uh, 154 year uh, uh, reply thread from 08 on Planet Minis? No, that's fine. I'm glad you brought <laughs> it up because the other line says, I'm posting this info to help everyone. So guys do it and don't get bummed out about broken cases. I made that post after a dude called me and told me that his cases were broken and he asked me if the cradle was going to help now. So it was like, no, but the answer was the no. The cradle isn't going to help now. Sorry. And I felt bad. <clears throat> so uh, next up, we have a couple products that we have to show here physically as well. So what we have here is the SICK 110s over the top brake pedal. Okay. So really nice. Made in the United States by King Racing. Um, Daryl King, good friend of mine. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's real sturdy. It's all metal construction. Um, got a nice grip on the foot, little bumper. And this is this is for the newer Kawasaki KLX 110s and the Kawasaki KLX 110L. It's taken quite a few years to get this pedal for the newer bike, so. I'm super stoked that we finally have it from SICK 110s because um, they just make a nice product that's good, made in the United States, and economical. It's not that expensive uh, to have an over-the-top brake pedal. The nice thing with the over-the-top brake pedal is you don't keep bending your brake pedal in ruts and and uh, when you're leaning the bike over. Now, one thing that also helps is we offer a brake snake to go with these, and they are um, they're beneficial as well. But finally here, you know, we've had them for a couple months now, but just, just letting you know that we have the, the SICK 110s over the top brake pedal for basically now, we have it for all years, all years KLX 110. So... Everybody likes their 110s, and there we go with a new brake pedal. Awesome. <clears throat> All right, so next up, uh, looks like we've got a pipe we're going to be taking a look at. Make sure we're still taping, and we are. So here we go. we got a two, new Two Brothers exhaust. For the Kawasaki KLX 110, the very cool thing about this is it's for all years. The only other one, I think the only other one, I don't want to make a liar out of myself, but not all, let's say it this way, not all the pipes we have are for all years. I know the Yoshi is, a very nice pipe as well, but this is a new, this is from two brothers, and made in the United States um, so there's the pipe um, I'm sure you guys understand that it it's on uh, it's already on tboltusa.com up for sale uh, we have you know a few here it's also at the distributors warehouse so we've got enough to go around for a minute um, The muffler is actually really cool looking. Um, big beefy welded on bracket. It's got the nice Two Brothers logo. Um, it, it does have the screen. Make sure that the logo and stuff can be seen pretty good on this camera. It does here. have the, anywhere on this table. Does have the uh, you know the screen, so you could possibly get it into uh, you know a forest area. 
depending on your local, local laws. <clears throat> Two Brothers logo, very interesting cap. Um, neat Allen screw <clears throat> attachment, brushed aluminum canister. Where would you open it if you wanted to repack it? Would that be From on the Allen screws? Those ones there or the cap I think at the end? so. We'd have to take a look. Yeah, but this end definitely comes off. It's right. nice. This end's riveted. Right, that's why they but made it user serviceable. Uh, yeah, you can repack it if you'd like. Um, probably wouldn't need it that soon with a four-stroke. Especially know. with a pit bike. I mean, how often do you get your pit bike really yeah. you know, full tilt? But um, definitely an awesome-looking muffler. And then let me see the header pipe. Yeah, I just love this brushed aluminum look. Pretty neat. Check out how the uh, the part number is actually <clears throat> on that badge there. You see that? On that, that screen. Here? Yeah. Yeah. See that? Model number TBR-001. Yeah. That's really neat. That's not something you see on all parts. Cool header flange, all stainless, uh, stainless construction, uh, nice welds, and um, just an awesome new pipe. And again, the, 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 the nice part, other than it's a nice pipe, is that it's for all years, because it's frustrating when, you know, guys want a pipe, but they have a 2017, and the pipe you're looking at's only good up to 2009. Um, it's very nice that Two Brothers and King Racing have realized that people are still doing pit bike, and it's 2019 now. So thanks, guys. Way to go. So check this out. Um, it actually mentions here that the tip is magnesium, and that's etched on there as well as the uh, the Two Brothers logo uh, at the bottom there. Magnesium? It says it. Wow. Yeah. Super light. See, Wait, at the lighter top? than aluminum. See at the top it has magnesium <clears throat> there on the... It does. Uh, it is yeah. quoted as being magnesium. That's awesome. Let me see that little bag. Surely. Really neat. Yeah. So that about wraps up this pit bike update, I think. It does. It does. It's sad, though. Why? Because I was having fun. <laughs> You're finally getting into it. Yeah, well, right now. Um, am I allowed to tell a story? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so um, at Happy Ramblers, this is going back to about 2010. You know, we were kind of winging it. We showed up. We were racing with Billy and all the two-up guys, and there was a lot of fast guys there. And, uh, you know, me and Vince show up. I think we had a trailer. Um, what car did we have? I'm not sure. We okay. might have had the tan van, which is like a 1995 van. Because we definitely were at Happy's with the Astro van yeah. at other times. Yeah, but uh, I can't remember how we got there. But anyways, we had we had an LXR and, or no, we had an X4. And we had a G2 Moto, which has been out of business for a while now. We had a prototype bike. So we had those put together and we're going to race and... Vince was like his first race and we went off the line and he got me on the whole shot he was out ahead of me and then he just pulls I was on over. the G2 bike wasn't I yeah and he pulls over and you know you're not supposed to do this in a race but I pulled over anyway I'm like what's up and I looked down he had no chain so his chain maybe his master link fell off or whatever but uh you know like I say we we're we we're winging it back then so I'm like, here, just take my bike. And I just give him my bike and he like takes off and does the rest of the moto. So it was, uh, it was, it was pretty cool. It was, it was the, a good day. It was an ultimate dad moment. <laughs> but we had a, we had fun that day. I think we got the chain on later or something. And, but we had, we had fun. 
So well, you had it, it was awesome because I actually got to ride my first race rather yeah than rather than the just first corner getting the whole shot on me and then then nothing you know so yeah it was it was uh, it was a good day so and that's it we'll see you guys again soon all right way to go bud sounds like a plan all right man.